Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today we're talking about Resolve 17 and the really cool way that you can align things to audio in the Fusion page. Mmm, yes, yes. Let's go. Sploosh. All right, so I have a little edit here. We got our beekeeper guy walking. Got some music coming in. And let's say that we want some graphics to come in here right when this music hits. Well, there's a couple different ways that we can do this in Resolve 17. One way is we can put the graphics right on this clip and actually look at the audio in the Fusion page, which is something everybody's been wanting for a long time. So all we have to do is be over this clip here in the timeline, and then I'll go down and click on Fusion. And that's going to open our clip inside of the Fusion page. And if we play this back just with spacebar, You can see down here, it loads the audio waveform. Mm-hmm. This is the keyframes panel. If that's not open, you can click this button up here to open it. And if you're not seeing the audio waveform, you gotta twirl down media in one. So if we want to time anything, any of our graphics or effects or whatever to the music, this is a great way to do it. You can just zoom in here and find where our music starts right there you can kind of line it up with the waveform and now we know at frame 97 that's where we want stuff to come in you can obviously do anything you want inside of fusion for this little demo i'll just put some text in here we're going to start with it just saying bees and let's say we want that to pop in right when that music hits since we're at frame 97 where we want to be with my text selected i'll just keyframe the size and let's move back a couple frames and we'll bring the size all the way down so now if we play this back, it comes in right there when the music hits. Pretty sweet, right? And of course we can go through and add whatever animation and everything we want based on that waveform here in the keyframes panel. But even though this is cool and this is something we've been wanting for a long time, what I think is even more powerful is the use of markers. Here's why. If we go back to the edit page and let's make a new fusion composition, I'll just right click on the media pool and select new fusion composition because this is often how you would make graphics, right? Is you would make it on a different layer. You don't usually want your graphics merged over your video unless you're doing something like tracking maybe, but this is often what happens for me if I'm making a title, making some graphics, I'll put it on a layer above. If I have this here in my timeline and I go to the Fusion page, at least right now, they might fix this. It doesn't bring up the audio waveforms and I've messed around with it and I can't get it to do that. So that's a problem, but it's not a really big problem. And here's why. It's a lot easier actually to navigate this waveform in the edit page. You can see the waveform here, just like you'd see it in the fusion page, but you can really easily scrub back and forth and find the exact moment that you want. You don't have to wait for the audio waveform to load. It's just a lot easier to be really precise. So you can find where you want something to start and you can just, with nothing selected, hit M on the keyboard and that will make a timeline marker. The cool thing about the timeline marker is that if you have a fusion composition under one of them and you open your fusion composition, it shows up here in the keyframes panel. Oh baby. So you can really easily add markers here in the edit page and then just have them carry over to the fusion page, which again is something I feel like a lot of people have wanted. And the coolest part is you can do it while it's playing back. As long as you have nothing selected, let's just play this back. And you can get all of your markers here. And then we'll just go to the Fusion page. And now we have all of our markers laid out. We don't have to load a waveform. We don't have to listen back. We know exactly when all the beats happen. So we can build our graphics to show up and work perfectly for that. We can even do stuff like grab this text node and trim it to the markers here in the keyframes panel. And then we can have those come in. Of course, you probably want to do some actual animation here since you're in the fusion page. And now we have our graphics coming in exactly when they're supposed to. Pretty slick. So that's a new feature in Fusion for Resolve 17. Not only the audio waveforms, but the markers. Makes it so much easier. Isn't that great? I especially love the markers. I'm gonna use those all the time. If you wanna learn more about Fusion and how all of that works, right there. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah.